Hi there everyone, I am Mayur Gohil. In this video lecture of recurrence relation, I shall be solving an example related to recurrence relation in which we have real and repeated roots and we will be using method of characteristic roots. For beginning this method for real and repeated roots case, we will need one small concept for the roots when they are repeated. If we have alpha star as a root which is repeated m times, then the general solution for that repeated root alpha star is given in this manner that is a n equal to a 1 alpha star to the power n plus a 2 n times alpha star to the power n plus and so on up to a m n to the power m minus 1 alpha star to the power n. We will soon see how to manage these kind of problems. Okay, let me take one example now, a very easy example. Also observe that uh, any linear combination of such solutions is also going to be a solution. I shall explain this line in my next video lecture with a new example along with the repeated roots. First we shall tackle a simple problem when alpha star is repeated m times. So let us see an example. Solve the recurrence relation a n equal to 4 a n minus 1 minus 4 a n minus 2 where a naught is equal to 1 and it is also equal to a 1. Okay, so these are the two initial conditions that we have a naught equal to 1 and a 1 equal to 1. Okay, now the method is very straightforward. If you have, have seen my first video lecture, the same steps follow. Consider a n our the given general, uh, sorry, given recurrence relation. Okay, consider that recurrence relation. Step 1 will be let a n equal to alpha to the power n. I once again recall what will happen to a to the uh, a suffix n minus 1 it will become alpha to the power n minus 1 a suffix n minus 2 it will become alpha to the power n minus 2 so I have this expression instead of my recurrence relation now being con getting converted into alpha to the power n equal to 4 times alpha to the power n minus 1 minus 4 times alpha to the power n minus 2 okay now the smallest power over here if you observe is n minus 2 so we divide the entire expression by alpha to the power n minus 2 on both the sides so what happens is that i get alpha square is equals to 4 alpha minus 4 take every term on the other side on the lhs you will get alpha square minus 4 alpha plus 4 equals to 0 and this is a quadratic and once you solve this quadratic you get alpha minus 2 the whole square equals to 0 which is nothing but alpha equal to 2 comma 2 okay now you have the root that is repeated twice okay so I now say that alpha 1 is the root which is 2 and it is repeated two times so compare it with the theory that I have given you over here. Alpha star that I have written instead of star I have 1. So alpha 1 is repeated 2 times. Now go analogous with this statement. Therefore the solution will be general solution will be a n equal to a 1 alpha 1. Instead of star you will have alpha 1 over here. Okay and to the power n a 2 n times alpha 1 to the power n okay so you just halt till here now observe here very carefully since alpha 1 is repeated two times you have two coefficients associated to it coming into the general solution okay so try to understand that thing very carefully and moreover you have two initial conditions so you will need two a1 and a2 constants to be determined okay so now the general solution we have got so you plug up the value alpha 1 equal to 2 in this general solution you obtain an equal to a1 
times 2 to the power n plus a2 into n times 2 to the power n. Okay, so this is our general solution. So I'll just put a red star, observe it carefully and compare it with the theory if you want to compare it over here. So you can write down any time the general solution if any root is repeated. Okay, so now let us move forward. What happens now is that we are interested in finding the constants a1 and a2. We find them using initial condition and the general solution. So initial condition was given to us is a0 is equal to 1. So you put n equal to 0 and plug up a0 equal to 1 in the general solution. You obtain a1 equal to 1. Okay. Now a1 is given to you as 1 from the initial condition. So on substituting the value for n equal to 1 and initial condition a1 equal to 1, you will get this equation. Okay. And from this equation, you already know that capital A1 is equal to 1. So on solving, what you will get is A2 equal to minus half. Okay, so now we have obtained a1 equal to 1 and a2 equal to minus half. Thus, we go to step 5. We substitute a1 and a2, the values that we got in the general solution. And our explicit solution is obtained as a n equal to 2 to the power n minus half into n times 2 to the power n. Okay, the star equation that we had marked okay so now if you solve it further you obtain a n equal to 2 to the power n minus n times 2 to the power n minus 1 so this is the nth term of the sequence of the terms whichever it forms from a naught and a1 as the initial conditions so a naught is the zeroth term a1 is the first term okay and then a2, a3, we can decode from this formula. Okay, so this is the explicit solution that we have found. And that is our final answer for the recurrence relation. So go through this entire procedure for the repeated case of roots. Okay, and similarly, you can solve this practice question for yourself. It is on the similar lines, you will get repeated roots for this express uh, this recurrence relation also where the initial conditions are b0 is equal to 3 and b1 is equal to 5 okay so here in the practice problem i have tried to break the notion of the all the recurrence relation given in the form of a n okay they can be given in any other variable also b n also is the another variable you can use and you can solve these problems Okay, so try to solve this problem. If you have any difficulty, you can revert me back or you can comment in the comment section. If you liked it, please hit the like button and you can share it with your friends. Okay, till then keep solving good amount of mathematics. Thank you. I shall see you in next video lecture.